I'm back with another story time video because you guys seem to really enjoy them and I enjoy telling you. For this week, I put up two options on Facebook and you guys chose number one, the time I got stalked by two psychos in Krakow, Poland. I went to Krakow, Poland by myself. It was my second time traveling by myself and I wanted to go to see Auschwitz. I heard crazy stories about Poland that they're not very female friendly and to be very honest I felt more unsafe in Krakow than I ever felt in India and it's a gorgeous city they have amazing food Auschwitz is so worth a visit but I have to say the things that I heard beforehand unfortunately came true. But this is the craziest thing that happened. So it was the last day when this happened, fortunately for me, because otherwise I might have gotten on the next plane to home because it was seriously horrible. So this is what happened. I was on my way to the airport. I've had a, a wonderful last day in Krakow. I had an amazing breakfast and I'm just walking towards the bus station to take a local bus towards the airport. So what happens is you need to get up these stairs, you need to walk to the left and then go downstairs under the tunnel to get to the bus station. And I'm here like right in front of the first steps when two guys walking in front of me, they turn around, they were not that much taller than me, one was blonde, the other one was uh, brunette. And they look at me and yeah, they're checking me out. So I don't pay any attention to it because <laughs> I used to live in a neighborhood where there were uh, there was this street and always when I had to cross the street there would there would be some group of guys and you know they were catcalling and stuff like that and I learned from from that experience that <laughs> the best way to deal with these situations is just don't give them any attention. So I was just like I saw them looking I was like whatever nothing just ignore. The thing is, they, they, they're walking in front of me and they slow down and they, they start walking next to me and start talking to me, which is, you know, you're invading my personal space. So also what I learned when I was a teenager walking past those groups of guys was to make it very, very clear that I'm really not interested at all. There is no room for politeness in these kind of situations. So I was like... They start talking to me in Polish and I'm like, they're like, la, 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 and I'm like, no, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. So no, no, just no. And I, um, I keep walking and they keep walking next to me. And I'm like, this is not good because usually guys, either they get offended or they like, they're hurt and they're fried and they just walk off. But these guys were a little bit more um, persistent. So they keep walking next to me and they're like still talking Lala, and I'm like no I'm not interested go away and I say that like two times three times and I start getting mad because I'm like get the f out of my personal space leave me alone I'm not interested I'm like I need to go catch a bus and I want to go to the airport so they still keep talking and at one point I I decide to make a scene I'm like I'm so over this and we're like halfway so we got up the stairs and we're halfway uh, towards the other stairs downstairs so I'm like get the f away from me what are you doing you idiots can't you see I'm not interested Ugh. I go all out and it's the middle of the day it's 3 p.m. so there are lots of people walking by and people are not even looking this is the thing that worries me most people are not even looking so I'm like get away from me Ugh. and now they start getting mad, especially the blonde one. The other guy, he gets a little bit frightened, but the blonde guy, he's obviously the leader. He gets this crazy, scary, psycho look in his eyes and he's just like, he's not even yelling. He's like saying things to me in Polish. I, I have no clue what he said to me, but he has this psycho cold look in his eyes. Like, I'm just going to get you. And I'm like, Oh crap, these guys are psychos. So I'm like, okay, uh, they're obviously not leaving. My crazy psycho outburst didn't help. And I look around, there, there's no police. I do see this tourist um, stand with a guy 
And I'm like, I, I just have to get help because obviously they're not going to leave. Nobody's helping me. So I have to get help myself. So I walk over to this tourist stand and I ask this guy, can I please um, just stand here be and wait until those guys leave because they're harassing me and they're not leaving me alone. So this guy's, yeah, sure, you can stand here. And still these guys are like in the middle of the freaking street, still saying things to me. They are not leaving at all. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. I wait for five minutes and I'm like, okay, maybe if I start calling them names in Yugoslavian, they will know that I'm also Eastern European and they will have maybe a little bit more respect for me and leave me alone. I don't know. Maybe they thought I was just a dumb tourist chick. I don't know. So I... Out of nowhere, I walk up to them again and I start calling them names in Yugoslavian. Just any random thing that comes up to me. So I'm like, Jebem ti mater, pitka ti mater, na jebi se, beži budala. I'm like all over the place. And, and they, they, they just start laughing. They start laughing out loud. I'm like, crap. This is so getting out of hand. Still, like, the same time, I'm laughing now, but I was so, so scared at that moment. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. Because I have to get to the bus station. I have to get to the airport. Of course, I could have gotten a taxi, but, it, you know, I was scared of taxis. So it was like one fear over the other. And I don't know what to do. So I decide to call my parents because these guys are not leaving. So I call my parents. I get my mom on the phone. I get my dad on the phone. Uh, they put me on speaker, I guess. And I'm like, mom, I don't know what to do. Dad, help me because these guys are harassing me. They are not going away. I already asked for help from this, you know, this tourist stand guy. He's not doing anything either. He's not chasing the guys away or anything. And my mom is just like, well, you know what? Ask the telephone number of the police from the tourist guy and just call the police. Miss your flight, we don't care, just be safe. And I also called them because, you know, if these guys got a hold of me and nobody would help me, at least my parents would know where I was, what I was doing and the situation that I was in. So my mom tells me, ask the, the telephone number of the police. And as we are talking, I see the guys walking away. I'm like, mom, mom dad and they're walking away and I might be safe so I really I, I really hope they, they will just leave and I see them like walking away not looking anymore towards me and my mom is like okay just wait for five or ten more minutes just to be sure that they're gone and then continue where what where you wanted to go so I'm like yeah yeah, yeah I, I'm gonna do that so I'm so relieved that they left and I think this this is over so I wait five or ten more minutes and I start walking again. So we were quite in the middle of the of the of the street and I start walking toward the stairs which I need to take towards the tunnel to the bus station. So as I arrive at the stairs, I look down and these psychos are waiting for me. They're just chilling there, leaning towards the wall, uh, leaning against the wall. And they look up and this blonde guy, oh, he was such a creep. He was such a creep. He looks up at me and he's just like, where are you going? You're not going anywhere. The only place you're going is with us. And I'm like, shit. Like, like the least worst thing that could happen is they're going to beat me up. And the worst thing that could happen is, I don't know, they're going to kidnap me. They're going to rape me. I don't know. But they're, they're obviously very persistent in harassing me. So I turn around. I'm like, hell no, I'm going to the tunnel. No effing way. Like, obviously, these people are not helping me. It's the middle of the day. It's very crowded. Nobody was even looking when I was having that, you know, tantrum or anything. So I just walk back towards the tourist stand. And I ask the guy. I tell him again, like, these guys are waiting for me. I have to catch my bus. I have to go to the airport. Do you know if there is any other way to get to the bus station? He's like, yeah, you can go back all the way around and go through the mall. And there's like this other road you can take toward 
to the bus station. And luckily, luckily for me, I left way too early, like maybe one or two hours too early because I was like, nah, I, I've seen everything of Krak uh, in Krakow that I wanted to see. Let me just go to the airport and chill and have, you know, have a relaxed journey. And this happened and I was so happy that I did that because now I had all the time in the world to walk back towards the mall and take the other uh, road to the bus station. But while I was doing it, I was like so on edge, constantly looking over my shoulders if they were following me. Like I was really checking for security guards if I would see them again so I could walk up to a to a security guard when I was in the mall when every time I would see some entry to the mall I would be like so on edge to see if they would come through that entry and I was just I was like I was seriously so 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 scared and uh, because it was the middle of the freaking day so I reached the bus station and I'm still like looking over my shoulder if I don't see them I'm so scared they will get in the bus with me and uh, fortunately they didn't and at that moment when the bus doors closed and I'm 100% sure that they are not in the bus with me I can finally relax a little bit so this all I think it it lasted for an hour I guess but it was so terrifying. I never ever experienced anything like this with guys before this or after this. These two guys were completely psycho and so incredibly persistent. And for me, it was like, I really hoped it wouldn't be true that Poland would be so female unfriendly, but unfortunately it did prove to be true for me. And honestly, I wasn't giving them any, you know, any reason to harass me in the first place. I wasn't giving them any attention. I wasn't being rude in the beginning. I only got rude when they, you know, started invading my personal space and they wouldn't leave. I don't know, how would you guys solve this situation? Because I honestly don't know any other, up to this day, I don't know any other solution that would have avoided like me getting into this massive fight with them. I hope this is a warning for you if you are female and think about going alone to Poland. You can do it. I did it. Nothing happened. But I did have like like three days in a row I had a bad experience. So the day before this someone tried to break into my room. I can tell that in a separate story time. But it was just, I don't know, I was quite disappointed that, that it really you know, came true. If you guys like the story, put a thumbs up. If you would like to see more story time, also put a thumbs up. Hop on over to Facebook because there are two more options for story time. If you don't want to see them, of course, I will not make the videos. But if you guys do want to see them, just let me know and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.